I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. I need that money. I really, really do. I need that money. I, I really need that money. Really need that money. Really that money. That money. my first stream if not exceeding the expectations i'd set for myself so that was pretty good um tonight's night stream was pa pal world okay and we're now well we were nine hours in now i believe we're 11 hours in and i'm going to give you guys my honest transparent thoughts on this and i'm sure we'll talk more about it in depth on the podcast tomorrow tonight was the first night i kind of got bored with the game all right the first few streams you're so immersed in this new world like oh my god it's survival but it's crafting and mining and resource gathering but it's also you know controlling and catching pokemon so it feels like three four universes slapped together and then you know i'd probably say around the middle of the time i played it like hour five and six but like, oh okay now i'm starting to get it you can make a mount and you can ride the pals around and this makes it better you can go through dungeons you can fight bosses right you go to the first major boss in the tower and the game kind of opens up even further <clears throat> but today I leveled, I want to say I leveled like five levels. So I went from like level 19 to 24 tonight. Caught a ton of new pals. Crafted a bunch of new stuff in camp. And I was bored. And so was the audience. Like the audience at first was kind of having fun. And within like a half an hour, you can tell when people get disengaged and they're kind of like, meh, there's nothing really happening here. They have too much interest. And that's what happened. Like everyone just kind of got disengaged and bored with it, including me. And people stopped talking. People stopped engaging. People literally just su stopped supporting at one point. I think it was like maybe 45 minutes in, and that was it. It was dead. Um, and I'm like, well, what do you think? And basically the feedback I got was, well, there's a couple problems with the game. Problem number one is that the game is good to play solo at first, but really it's better if you're playing it co-op with like a friend or something because then one person can resource gather while one person can work on pal herding and stuff. When you're doing it by yourself, it's a lot of tedium, right? That's number one. Number two, the game on Xbox is just far inferior to the PC version. People are telling me now that the PC version is light years ahead of the Xbox version. I mean, I can't even name a pal yet. I've been playing this game for almost a solid month, and I can't even name a pal yet. They didn't even add that to the console version yet. And they're blaming it on Microsoft, saying, hey, we have all these updates ready. They're in the pipeline. We want them to apply. And Microsoft keeps holding them up for their certification process, to which I'm like, well, I can understand that, but seriously, in a month, you couldn't have an ability to name a Pokemon yet, or excuse me, a pal yet? Like, that's one of the key things you probably want to do, have a, have a pal with a name, it's your favorite pal, you bring it with you, you know, it's like a comrade, or like my Malpaca, which is supposed to be like an alpaca. I totally would have given it a name, because I've been riding it around for three straight streams, you know. So anyway, um... Yeah, I feel like we finally tonight kind of hit the wall of what we were going to be able to see with me playing it solo. And that's sad because, you know, when I started playing it, I told you, I had big reminiscing feelings of years ago when I used to play Minecraft. And we would do it every week. It would be the chill late night stream of Minecraft. And it was an event to look forward to. And we would craft and we would survive. And we would visit, you know, settlements. And we would spread out over the, over the course of the map and teleport around and do fun stuff. And I was getting those vibes early on. Like the first few streams we did of the game, I was totally getting those vibes. But now, I feel like everyone got bored with it, including me. Like, I think the gimmick wore out. It was a fun gimmick. Oh, the, the, you know, the Pokemon knockoff game for a couple of sessions. But now it's kind of like, eh. And the truth be told, all right, I don't feel like I'm playing Tekken enough. Twice a week is just not enough for a new fighting game. So I'm not getting much better at the game, or at least at the pace that I think would be more entertaining. Um, and... The fact that I'm about to start doing co-op streams with my wife means that we already are going to kind of have less time. So I'm thinking if we're going to retire Pal World, now will be the time. Now, obviously, I want your thoughts. You can leave a comment on this video. You can leave a comment on the videos of Pal World from tonight. Let me know. Do you think this is the, the logical place to stop? Unless there's a lot more I'm missing. I just don't feel that way. Like people were even on the stream were like, yeah, just so you know, you've now seen the entire loop of the game. The only thing that's different, you're going to see bigger pals moving forward you're going to craft guns and the guns will make fighting the pals easier so that way it's not as hard as it is right now trying to shoot that slow crossbow instead you're running around with guns just shooting them as you're on a mount or whatever and that's really it like that's it there's not much else to the game that's the whole game and then people hit like level 50 like i'm level 24 right now you can only hit level 50 
that's it. That's the maximum of the game. And then after that, people are like, yeah, there's really nothing to do. There's no end game content or anything yet. Um, everyone hit a wall and they're waiting for them to update the game and add, you know, raids and more instances and things like that. So, yeah, I think we've done it. I'm a, I think it was around 11 hours total of gameplay. And I think we pretty much saw everything that we wanted to see uh, in Power World. And I enjoyed my stay. I did. I actually enjoyed my stay in the game. I thought that it was a solid and fun experience. I'm glad that we played it. I'm just confirming. Yeah, it was a, it was nine hours, and then tonight was two more, so we're at 11 hours. Um, I had a good time. I'm glad you guys suggested it when it was viral, you know, last month. And I, I'm glad that it was on uh, Xbox Game Pass because a lot of the times these games that go viral, they're not on, on anything I can play. They're like on PC high-end requirements. Like, well, I can't play that, right? So I'm happy that it was on a console. It was on Game Pass, so there wasn't no real investment in it. And I had a fun that time we played it, but I think it's time to retire it. All right? So there you have it. Let me know your thoughts on that. Um, 